What is up, everybody? We are delighted to get back into the studio again today and continue our short series of videos where we're just going to see how my most commonly used tools work on the brand new M1 Mac Mini. And today we're looking at Reactor. Um, I can say from personal experience, you know, all of my stuff has just been buttery smooth and it's it's pretty cool um, that that's the case. Um, again, I'm not advocating that you go out and uh, get this yourself. Make the decision that's right for you. But in my case, this decision was right for me and everything has just been really working well so far. Um, this is something simple that I put together. It's really not high in terms of CPU, but it is a really kind of wild sounding synth um, that I put together. So that's barely hovering at 12% CPU. Let's open up some of the experimental patches in the Nanopack library, which I know were quite intense with the CPU. Let's see how these go. sweet barely hovering at 25 in this case i mean you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen ish you know 15 30 45 you get the idea there's a lot there's a lot going on um but buttery smooth so far so good Let's open up this next patch. That's fun. I could sit and do that for a while. I couldn't do this on my old machine. Sound design, guys. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Reactor 6, Mac, M1. And technically it doesn't, you know, it's not really working, you know? Technically, if you wanna get technical, but for not really working, we're barely hovering at, you know, less than 30% CPU so far. On average, I would say way less than that, probably half that. Probably where we're at now is close to the average, I would say. This does not respond. <laughs> this is experimental. This doesn't respond in any way, shape, or form to uh, MIDI notes. Obviously, I am getting some MIDI uh, uh, into the, you know, into the thing here. But um, yeah, it's uh, real interesting. Real, real interesting.
So... That is the experimental racks in the nano pack. What if we start unpacking some of these racks in here from the synth pack? I know the the synthesi synthesizer module from Toy Box. It was, I mean, look, some things you start to notice patterns, like, you know, some things are just more CPU intense than others, and it just happens. Um, but... I mean, so far, so good. Buttery smooth. You know, switching to things. about some experimental racks from Sound design. Just opening up one thing after the other. I mean, so far so good. So far so good. What if we open up some of these ones from the Michael Hetrick Library. say guys speechless you know I've got no problems I've got nothing to complain about no it's really it's really awesome and I just can't I can't wait to just really dig in on all the stuff that I want to do you know
Until next time.